Okay guys, so we're back. Well, we're still in Penang. Old, uh, like the old town, Georgetown. But here there's like a, a big temple for Gaojin. Gaojin. Uh, we have been there before. Uh, Vinny, it's pretty cool. We're just gonna try and find some lunch. I should, it sounds like she needs some coffee as well. So yeah, maybe we'll go here. Ah, oh, this is a coffee shop. Yeah, so super interesting because there's a Chinese temple there. And then obviously a Hindu shrine here. And I think we're heading to Little India, which I think is this direction. Pretty sure. And then, yeah, there's like loads of like Hindu kind of flower offerings, things. Cool. Really like a mash of religions, cultures, everything. People's eras, modern and traditional. It's cool. Cool, here's the temple. Very cool, a lot of people about. Oh, it is hot guys, very hot all of a sudden. Sun's kind of trying to come out, but the heat, crazy. <laughs> uh, Little India is like this way. Looks like they're closed for now or something. So yeah, this is like Little India here. Obviously you can see all these Indian shops. Uh, here's an Indian, uh, like, what are these called? Like mix, Indian curry mix, spice mix. And they do have sweets as well. We actually got some sweets from here uh, a couple of days ago. Oh, they've got less here. This guy was here yesterday and before. This guy was here. So yeah, these were like the sweets and stuff. I think we're going for food before sweets, right? I always look at them now and go like, oh, I could have one. Because they're only like one rinket or something. Uh, well, that way. Like the vegetables, I guess. No idea what any of it is. Can we order with you? The chicken. Can we order? Yeah. So we're here. Uh, not 100% sure what I got. There's like chicken, maybe kind of a dal with maybe potato something. I think this is paneer. This is biryani. With the like spices, I think uh, that's the sound of putting out of the bamboo. Yeah, they put in like a bamboo, and I should have recorded, should have recorded it for you. But um, yeah, they take it out of the bamboo and like hit it, do, 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 do. knock, knock, knock. Oh, here comes my rice. Okay, and my rice has just turned up. Now we can begin, begin, begin. Da -da 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 this is sauerkraut or the the like cabbage, cabbage, kapusta. It's just like my mom. <laughs> So it's kind of, it's got mustard seeds in it, no? Or something? Um, it, it's yeah. Like mustard seeds? Uh, no, it's uh, cumin seeds. Oh, cumin seeds? Yeah. But you have turmeric as well. I oh, yeah, turmeric, making it yellow. It's really well spiced. It's like anise. Oh, wow. That's like a... Hari sambal. Like four on top, yeah? Mm -hmm. yeah. Wow. So we've got like some sauces and stuff. You just, see, they've got like table. It's like condiments. I'm going to have them. But so much? Well, usually you get like a three, like that. You don't put much on, you just flavor. So we got this here. Which is like a... It's like kind of a dal... something? Yeah. Uh-oh. Too many things on the table. Okay. Just for a bit of extra flavor for the rice. Wow. It's a feast. Again, I got a Horlicks, guys. A cold Horlicks. Yes. Wow. So this is just six. It's actually warm. Ready? No. It's just 
I don't know if it's gonna be just six, no. So let's uh, try some of it. So let's just try this curry stuff. Mm, really good. Um, Give me taste. Gosh, I don't really know Indian flavors at the moment. I'm dealing with other flavors so much that the Indian flavors are new. It's like Chinese yesterday. Yeah. Yeah, I mean it's just it's just great. And so much as well. And then they come around and this guy kind of calculates it all. So he's counting it up. So this chicken. Wow. Really good. Wow, what's this chicken? Really tender. Kind of like tandoori-ish. But yeah, just big chunks of chicken there. Oh. I've never been hungry in India, but in the restaurant, it's always like good pork. Yeah. And then we got this. Kind of like a dal, I guess. Oh, no. Not potato. I don't know what that is. <laughs> I'm not being very descriptive. Sorry, people. As well, the same as me? No, it's a different one. It's kind of a bit more watery, isn't it? I don't know. Maybe like a gourd or something like that? And this is apparently paneer. Oh, it's more like tofu. Ooh. And spicy. <laughs> it's spicy. No. But it's just a very bitey, spicy. Bitey, spicy. But like different than what we've had, I think, in. Uh, in like Thailand for example. It's a bit more paprika-ish, but like ultra spicy. Yeah. Awesome, very good. You can see on here like some caraway seeds, so that's a caraway seed. Gosh, I think I need to get my um, Indian spice dictionary or something. <laughs> Remember what all these things are. Awesome, well, we're gonna enjoy this. And you're going to chill out. We're pretty much done. We're pretty much. I think it beat Usher a little bit. Um, in total, that was 39.50, so around seven pounds fifty or so. Um, pretty good. The biryani was actually the expensive fish. This bit probably could just have that by itself. It's like 10, 10 ringgit. You know, obviously Usher didn't even finish it. So yeah, strange. But um, what you also get. I don't think we got this one, but we got just this one. All these different like condiments, you know, think of it maybe as uh, the Indian tomato sauce and mayonnaise. Let's, let's think of it like that. See, they've got like side things like this. And then we'll uh, show you all this again. I don't even know what, I mean, obviously those are sprouts. This is probably good with some spice on it. Um, other things. I actually had that one. This one is chicken? He said it's chicken with chicken, so I don't know what that means. Um, this is obviously a curry fish. Curry fish here. This is the mutton. Um, this is more fish. This was mutton as well. It looks kind of sweet. More chicken there. Loads of different things. This is some eggs. eggs here. This is the chicken that I had, which was kind of sweet. This looks like a kind of less burnt version of mine. Um, and this is maybe egg, and then there's curried eggs, eggs, something else behind there. I was over here, obviously, doing the thing. And this is where we are now, just on the corner. Um, what's this place called, you say? A lot of people are Kanas. Kanas BMB. Bamboo Masala Briyani. So that's obviously, yeah, it all comes out. Those look amazing. Um, I think they have like these bamboo things all in these tubs here they come um, as like a oh yeah I feel like this they're all like bamboo there's eggs in there rice wow very steamy <laughs> very cool um, and they bring them and cook them actually in the pipes like that it's pretty cool my phone <laughs> nice uh, I think I've just lost Asha well Asha's lost me one second so we're walking back through 
some of Little India. Definitely getting the taste for it. Yeah. <laughs> getting the feels, the smells, the experiences, the peoples. Oh, and the heat even. Wow. Probably the hottest day we've had here. And here's uh, the big temple here again. We actually went into um, a little kind of prayer temple something back there. Kind of had a look at some stuff. Quite nice. They seem to want to sell us a lot of things. Kind of put us off a little bit. But, you know, I guess it's in some ways, if you, depending on how you look at it, it could be like a donation towards the thing, or it can be paying for a, something. Just a pin. But yeah, check out this, uh, this temple here. Look, 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 look. Ready, 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 ready. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? This is Sri, wow. Ma, um, Mariaman. Mariaman. This would be Ganesh. It's the oldest temple in Georgetown. It was built in 1833 and it was ex extensively renovated in 1933, a hundred years later. With a prominent dome and entrance tower, it is one of the starting points for the procession of Kavadi carriers during the annual Thai Pusam festival. Very cool. Maybe. Yeah. Very cool. So there's the Hindu temple over there, and right here is in a Chinese temple. Um, apparently, Chu Kong Hai Jiang. Chu Kong Hai Jiang. The Han Jiang ancestral temple. You see, like, you can see probably of their journeys and stuff. kind of come into like the inner kind of courtyard here which again has like these stories here these are the kind of things you know you definitely want some sort of guide I think for you know, if we can tell you actually what it's all about people what does it actually tell you here let's see let's see let's see these Tri the vignette paintings of flowers birds and figures ah oh, that's those ones what these ones? I don't know what these ones are. What five are curved. And then these ones are these five curved. No, that's those ones again. Curved. A bit confusing. One second, guys. Okay, so apparently these vignette paintings feature an episode in the Chiao Chu Opera. The Prime Minister of the Sing of the Six Kingdoms. The Prime Minister of the Six Kingdoms. So that's. I believe up, maybe it's these ones actually up here. So each one kind of tells a story. Uh, what Asher was reading previous was that, um, so these guys, they kind of, <laughs> these guys, like this group of Chinese were kind of from nor uh, southern China, came to Penang. Um, and they're quite like very arts based, um, you know, on theater and carving and painting obviously which is why this like this is so um intricate intricately made and why there's the paintings here i guess they also have the performances which is what um some of these paintings uh depict so like i said it was sh showing um one of the operas very interesting so yeah then we come in here to like the inner part and then these, I'm not sure, like these are all something, I don't know. Maybe if you guys know what these things are, let me know. 
and comments below. I, I imagine they kind of all represent maybe families or people, maybe people, yeah, I don't know, I don't know, or prayers. Yeah, these, ah, yeah, and there's some more paintings here. Wow. Okay, so I was just, I mean, it's really interesting actually, like each, um, they've got a lot of information there that does actually explain each part of the place. So, like I was kind of saying, um, they are exactly that. This is kind of the place for like ancestral worship and fraternity. Um, so each, I think each, um, they call them uh, altars, I believe. Each um, piece kind of represents a different family or a different part of the Chiao Chu peoples. I mean, I'm only paraphrasing. I'm only paraphrasing here, people. So yeah, I'm probably definitely not getting it right. I'm still trying to give you a little bit of information about what it all is. So intricate. I'm also, yeah, not very well versed on Chinese culture, like Chinese uh, history or mythology. So, you know, it's it's, kind of, it's difficult. But this is very much temple for the ancestors, as far as I know. That have come down from China. You know, a place to remember. A place to remember, I guess, even where you've come from, if you're a descendant of this place, of yeah, these people. Okay. It's very peaceful. I don't know why. <laughs> Is that the calm before the storm, or calm after the storm? Um, but yeah, we're gonna hit up. And then from China, we then go to like Islam. And there's like a Islamic test, uh, Islamic, there's like an Islamic, there's like an Islamic temple just here with uh, Buddhist monks walking in front of it. Of course, that's that's four, four. We are missing Christianity. Where's Christianity? <laughs> I think there are actually some near where we are staying, but yeah, wow, really diverse, you know. So diverse, and it all seems to work in harmony, as far as I can see, which is great. Cool, guys. Well, we're still on a coffee hunt, I believe. Let's go find the coffees. Gosh, we've just come through to like part of somewhere, Arminia Street, I think. And there's all these little stalls around the various things. Obviously, we've already eaten, so I don't think. We're gonna have food here, but we wanna find coffee, 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 coffee. Hi. I just have like food with a helicopter. But yeah, there's loads of stuff around here guys. Check it all out. Check it out. Very cool. And just in here you can see here is house 24. Uh they got like a whole arts and crafts in here. It looks like with loads of stuff. But to keep in, wow. Loads of stuff around here, guys. Loads of notes. I see this is the weekend, so it's a bit more uh, hectic. I seem to have lost Usher again. Great. Oh, no, found it, found it, don't worry. Wow, and then we've got some meaty treats here. Deep fried stuff. Whew. Other things around. Cheesy wedges. Stuff. We just stopped at this coffee shop. I uh, don't know what it's called. Coffee Lowe. Facebook, Instagram. Okay. We have a Facebook. Oh yeah. Coffee Lowe. Yeah, Coffee Lowe. Ah, yeah. I'm gonna say it. This is this is uh, YouTube. YouTube. Yeah, YouTube. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. YouTuber. YouTuber. Yeah, for sure. See, we just stopped. It's called Coffee Lowe. So Lowe is in like the uh, little furry animals because they do have Coffee Lowe coffee here. That's not what we're having. Um, we're just having flat well, iced coffee with milk. Look at it. Just look at what it's doing. It looks like a painting. But then right next to them are like these guys with some Turkish baklava. 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 Yeah, baklava. Wow. 
I don't know. These guys are good. He's pretty good. Pretty good salesman as well. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, these look these look amazing. Check them out, guys. I mean, it's such an art. Wow. And it's such an art. It's strong as well. Oh, it's great. Yeah. Actually, tastes like coffee. And also, like, it's not like watered coffee because yeah. it's iced. It's like full of flavor and full of like what um, aroma. That's what I want to say. Aroma. Sure, aroma. Right, right? Yeah, yeah. It's a very rich, rich flavor. Yeah, yeah. Pretty amazing. As you may or may not know, I'm pretty much addicted to coffee. And yeah, I've been struggling a little bit with um, trying to drink some of the coffee that's coming out of like the like the 7-Elevens and stuff. But this is like real coffee. I can taste taste the difference, which is nice. Oh, I she's going for the first one. She's going to save me half. I don't know. I don't know if she's going to. Yeah, for me. This is not too sweet. Mm. 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 Like, you know that you have those baklavas that are just so sweet that you eat one and that's it. And you just have two. And they're like chocolate or, or like plain. I asked for chocolate. <laughs> I did notice, however, that he does have like a whole um, kind of jug of honey which you could pour over the top. So if you wanted honey poured over the top. Uh, on top of this? Seems like, yeah. I'll go up later and uh, film in a bit. This is mine. Wow. That one's a bit sweeter. A bit more kind of caramelly. Very good. Okay, we're gonna get through these. We're gonna get through this. We're gonna cool up a little bit. And then we'll get back to you. Check it out, guys. There's some all this back lava here. <laughs> really good. And it's just here on Armenian. Um, How do you spell that? Yeah. Come by. Next to the coffee shop. Cool. Uh, I think we're going to head off now and have a little rest. And I'm probably going to edit, to be honest as well. That's kind of like resting, isn't it? Wow, check out this place, guys. Nice lawn here. We're just picking up our laundry here actually. Uh, Dobby. Dobby, if you didn't know, it means like laundry service in uh, Bahasa. We're just here. I think we already paid, I think it was 15 each. I guess it's just depending on how much stuff you've got, but it's per uh, box or per machine. So each machine is 15 ringgit, so that's around three pounds. That's all right. Mine's usually about that. But it doesn't really matter on weight as such, it's more on volume if it fits in the machines. Uh, Ash has got it there. This is all of it? Yeah. Okay. Really nicely pulled. We've got all the laundry, we're heading back. It feels like there's something coming, the, the, the wind's come up. But yeah, we're going to head back home. I'm going to do some. I'm not sure where we're going. Navigator's left me behind. This way. Navigator doesn't know. Yeah, no. I mean, it looks familiar, but no, 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 I don't think so. It looks similar, shall I say. See, so yeah, we're heading back this way, guys. I'm back to our place. Come along, come along, come along. Let's see what we can find on the way. I just really love the like degradation of all these places. I mean, that's like a perfect example of it. Actually, like an over, over 
overdone example of it, shall we say. And then you see here, like, you know, probably these buildings are still in use, but they look like you can't do with a good clean, but, you know, I think it's good. That really creates an atmosphere, you know, just with all this. Oh, obviously this has now been repainted, but check out how great they look when they're not. Places. But, you know, even when they do get refurbed a bit, like this has obviously been redone a little bit. Um, yeah, they still look really cool. I think, like, even this here has been kind of refurbished. But I have noticed some signs up around um, saying that all these places have been refurbished. I think we're that way, are we? We're that way. Yeah. 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 So, yeah, see all these places? 1927? Quite old. I thought they'd be older, but I guess that's almost a hundred years old. Sure. Well, but then you know, like they've then been like refurbished for like restaurants and things like this. They're you know, quite modernised. Coffee. Yeah. You know, another. I'm not sure what that is. Co-working. Free co-working. Startup house. Free co-working. Wow. Cool. And yeah, you know, all these. This is like a hotel. And then our place is just here. Um, I know, you know, you've got the tricycles everywhere. I'm not sure if that's a real one or a new, so maybe, yeah, probably. Cool guys, well, that's it for this video. Um, we're gonna go in, uh, chill out for a bit. I got some editing to do. So, yeah, thanks. Thanks for watching. Uh, why don't you subscribe? More coming, more, 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 more. So yeah, make sure you do hit that subscribe button to know what's gonna happen next. <sighs> I know in a couple of days we're going to the beach, but I think maybe we'll take you out later tonight even. Um, but cool, until then, keep on drifting guys. See you on the next one.